went down the rabbit hole a little bit. We happened to do that this time of year. Yeah. The downside was it was about four minutes before you arrived at my house. So I was frantic. So here's what I discovered. If you want to see two guys eating in a car, click that subscribe button. Thinking about what the Bills are doing next season. Pass happy, run happy. Are they going to try and run a balanced offense? What are they doing? I wanted to know how many running attempts by McCoy and Ivory and Murphy happened last year from Allen under center. Ooh. Right? Because I was curious about that. So I went ahead and looked at the stats. Wow, of, that is of, a rabbit hole. I, it is. I went ahead and looked at the stats on pass attempts from Allen, and what I found was a little surprising. Unfortunately, because the stats for running backs by formation isn't, I couldn't really find it, right? I couldn't find how many passing or how many rushing attempts McCoy and Ivory had, depending on the formation, um, you know, whether Allen was under center or not. Um, I just didn't have it available quickly. Um, I went and looked at pass attempts. So how many times did Allen throw the ball from shotgun versus under center? Okay. Because I figured, you know, that's, that's probably a reasonable... That's probably a reasonable comparison. Let's see how predictable the offense was oh, from boy. a pass attempt standpoint just by whether Allen was under center or not. Oh, no. Yeah, you're shuddering for the right reasons. This is, is, it, this is scary. Is it 80-20? It's, it's bad. Okay, you ready? Okay, how many pass attempts? You're going for how many pass attempts he had total? <clears throat> yeah, so here's the deal. I'll give you total pass attempts. You tell me how many were from under center. 320... Nine pass attempts last season. 329 pass attempts. 329 pass attempts. How many pass attempts were from shotgun? 318. <laughs> How many were from shotgun? On 329, yeah, I'm 329. gonna go 280. 233. It was still a high percentage. What do you figure how much the Bills want to run the So we had 100 from under center. 230 from. 230. So we had 86 pass attempts from under center. 233 That's tip in your hand there, bro. Uh, well, I think it is. Yes, right? Yes. I think it is. So, and you look at the at the number of, you know, rushing attempts that the Bills had, and you, again, are going to assume a vast majority of them were from when the Bills were under center. It does show and tip your hand a bit, right? When you're in shotgun, you kind of pretty much know that. Sh shocking, too, because Allen is a very good play-action passer. Which is what I'm getting to, okay. right? right? So, Allen, last season, took... Um, took 28 sacks okay okay how many of them were from when he was under center 28 sacks 28 sacks how center. many of them were from when he was under 17. center 17 6 oh right which goes to your point play action game is really strong yeah right that's yeah. what that means okay. Okay. right that's when you look at that stand you say how many pass attempts did you have from under center how many times were you sacked well, you were only sacked six times under center where you were sacked 22 times from shotgun. Now, again... There were more pass attempts, too. There were more pass attempts, okay. but still, if you look at the percentage, Allen was sacked almost 10% of the time that he attempted to pass out of shotgun, whereas he was only sacked, like, 8% of the time from under center. It is a marginal difference, yes. but it's still a, it's still a difference. You're... you're <clears throat> well, the big thing about it is you're not... I mean, defense, defense has no idea what you're going to do. Under center? Yes. I agree. Okay. So if you, the reason why, I think that could have been one of the reasons why play action was so effective. I mean, I think Allen's good regardless, but that could have been one right. of the reasons it was so effective was because they always run out of when he's under center. Right. Okay. Right. Exactly. But so the offense being predictable might have played into the hand a little bit. Right. But Allen is a really strong play action. Well, Dabo is sneaky. Yeah. Dabo is very sneaky. Here's where I go from here. Right. So. Out of uh, Allen's, uh, let's see here, 86 pass attempts. Yep. Under center, 27 of them went for first downs. So just about half of his completions, actually more than half of his completions, under center, went for first downs. So yeah. 
27 first downs out of 46 completions. So they kept him under center in third or second in very manageable situations where teams thought they were going to run. You ran play action and completed a first down penalty. Right. Okay. Yeah. But that's what I mean is Allen is – there's some strength here that you can play off of. Yes, right? absolutely. However, you have to start mixing things up a little bit because that's only going to work for so long. Right? Yeah. It's only going to work for so long. So you wonder why the running game was really – in trouble, it's probably because when the Bills were under center, teams were just selling out against the run. Selling yeah, out against the run, and, why not? And there's, there's very, Who's going to beat you at the wide receiver group? Well, there's, there's, what are you worried about? Well, that, Paul, there's two, things, there's, there's two things that work into that. There's one, um, the offensive line could have played into the run game. And the other thing is, it, when you're in shotgun, there's very limited run plays you can do. Or right. You can do what, you can do a couple right, RPOs. Yeah. You can do a, uh, you can do a couple trap plays. You can do a bunch of you can do a few things, but it's very limited. Giving the guy the ball and then having him pick and choose what, where he wants to go, rather than have him running toward the line, handing him the ball and then and, and falling forward. But the, I mean, the line will take care of a lot of that. Mm-hmm. I think the line, especially the, some of the new guys that brought in, I think will take care of that. Well, my theory here is that the Bills with the players that they brought in, and again, it seems like from a line perspective, they've really gone with guys who can pass protect. Right? Mm-hmm. Like that's been the guys that they brought in, they're really strong in pass protection, is that they really want to make that play action game strong from underneath center to open that part of the game up. Because again, it wasn't hard to stop the Bills rushing last year. And that's what every team just said they're gonna do. That's it, let's just stop them from running the football. We're gonna be just fine. And, and teams were able to do that. So in order to try and mix things up, you have to be stronger in the play action game. I think that that's going to be a major focus for the Bills this season is they're going to run a bunch from under center, and they're going to try and open things up that way. And you have guys who can make plays behind the line of scrimmage. You have McKenzie who can make plays behind the line of scrimmage. You have John Brown who can make plays behind the line of scrimmage. You still have Ray Ray McLeod who can make plays behind the line of scrimmage. You have guys that are shifty enough that you can utilize pre-snap motion to your advantage while you're under center. And the Bills started to do that at the end of last year. I don't know. Going on your point from last week, you said they were going to install more spread uh, concepts, air raid concepts. Right, when that, passing. That right. being said, you're going to go into shotgun more. You're not going to have room go under center for that in a five wide set. It doesn't, doesn't oh, yeah, no, you can't. It yeah, doesn't, doesn't benefit doesn't him at all. That's one. If they're planning on doing more of those concepts, that will not benefit him. Two, if only 50, if you think it's like 50% of the time, let's say that. If the other 50% of the time you're under center, you are running the ball. Right. You are going to run the ball. And now... Um, if you're only 50% of the time going to be having Allen do reads and have the receivers do read routes in a pro-style system, it's not going to benefit him. It's going to take him twice as long to grow as a quarterback. Um, the other thing is this. When you have Allen, when you have Allen under center, um, I'm sorry, here's the, here's, the, here's the point. Teams next year are going to make him throw more from those, from those sets because – yeah. He killed everybody with his legs more than his arm. Yeah. Except in the finale when he was he was brilliant. So that being said, teams are going to equip their defensive schemes to keep him in the pocket. So then the onus is going to be more on the receivers getting open at that point. Because you're going to have a new rebuilt line. You're going to have Allen who can make plays with his legs. Like, listen, we cannot let this guy out of the pocket. Right. Keep him in the pocket. So therefore, that will aid the offensive line. You know what I mean? They can't just pin, the guys, defensive guys just can't pin their ears back and go in whatever lane they want to to try to get the quarterback because then Allen will kill him. Right. So that being said, it's going to aid the offensive line. There may be more blitz packages that using motion would help Allen determine whether or not they're, they're blitz or not. Um, but in that, the onus will be a lot more on the wide receivers than the line and Allen. Next well, year. and the Bills did a good job by grabbing John Brown and Cole Beasley because Beasley has a reputation for being able to shake coverage, period. Right? So, you can, so Beasley is a receiver that is is dangerous regardless of whether you're out of shotgun or true. from under center. Very probably true. probably more dangerous when you're under center. Probably will play more <laughs> in the slot than Zay Jones, I think, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The only time we'll see Zay in the slot is when you're in three, four yeah, when you're in four receiver sets. Zay will be on the slot on the other side. Fascinating though. It is. It is very fascinating to see how much he's actually thrown from from gun and, Yeah. And, uh, 
much more efficient passer when he's under center. Much well, more. well, because he, he can't. Well, while it was while it was my Wyoming, it's a pro style in, in Wyoming. So he yeah. he was used to taking the ball in any other centers. Right. Plus, you get the the footwork of being a quarterback. You learn it better when you're under center. And now the wide receiver group is really built to get open quicker. Yes. I think that's going to be. I think that's going to make a big difference in in you know 2019 into 2020. Because guys have to just figure out a way to get open fast. Because Allen doesn't. The game hasn't slowed down for him yet in that respect. No. Not yet. No. Right. I mean, to to scan the entire <clears throat> field, they're still kind of giving him a little more half field reads now right. just, while he's learning, and then they'll end up opening it up. Because that's why he's running all the time now. Yep. He reads in half. It's open, not there. He not runs. open. Not open. Yep. Got to go. He doesn't get to his third or fourth read yet. But he will. He loves that deep ball, though. <laughs> it's almost like at the end of the last season, Dable just said, okay, read the right side. If that's not open, the other side, we're just going to run the guys on streak routes. So you just wait. They're going to adjust the route. Yeah. I am curious to see if that's an approach. Right? Okay, this is your hot read. This is who you're going to. You guys on this side, if... If the safety drags over, just go. Okay, so what you're saying is this. So I get, so I get, so I get this approach. This is pretty interesting. All right? It is fascinating. You want to run a smash route on the right side. Yeah. Okay, so John Brown is going to be your outside receiver. He runs a hitch. Beasley's going to run a corner route. Yeah. Usually not his forte, table. we'll no. have him do it right now. That's fine. He reads that. Both of them are covered. On the back side, you got a drag by Zones and Jones, Zay Jones in the slot. Right. So everything's kind of going to the right so he can look there. And then... Behind that, you're going to have... Um, Brown. No, no, no. No? Foster. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, right. that's fine. You have Foster run a 15-yard dig. If he reads one, two, to three, Brown to Beasley to, uh, uh, to Jay, Zay Jones, nothing's right. there. And, and the you're reason, telling me that in route by Foster is now going to be a deep. Yeah. Because that safety's already coming up. The safety's already moving over. Oh, 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 oh. he's dirty. Hey, that's dirty. But it's not a bad. It's not. It's not no, something that's because, bad to pay attention to at the beginning of the season. Watch to see how many receivers are sliding to the same side of the field. And what happens to that one little guy? What do we always say? That, that little, little guy. guy. I wouldn't worry. Well, I wouldn't worry about that. Well, little now guy. you got a quarterback that can throw it. You're going to cover all the field. So that's the yeah. problem. That's what's so. Good. That's funny. That's funny. Uh-huh. 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 Did I talk you into this one a little bit? I know. Scarlet Witch me again. This bastard.